Peace, Abari Ghani Hotel. Assalam alaikum. This is your brother Herman Mohammed. Once again, I was sitting in my backyard. It's still warm out here, y'all. And um, I was just thinking, I was thinking uh, because I keep seeing these new fashion trends coming out for men. And in particular, they got black men wearing these new so-called fashions. I've seen uh, the likes of Dwayne Wade wearing a dress. I've seen Kanye West wearing a kilt or a dress. I've seen um, Russell Westbrook wearing some very feminine fashions as well as uh, our brother um, quarterback can't think of his name but anyway also I saw Spike Lee wearing what looked like a lady's outfit and, and wearing a, a merce or a man purse I guess that I guess that's what they call it a merce but there's there's an effort it seems to effeminate or to effeminize the black man and you might think that that's cool it's up to the individual what they're going to wear and you know you're right you're absolutely right it definitely is up to the individual as to what it is that they want to wear but this attempt of a feminization of black men is real and it's important because many of us don't have the ability to discern an attempt at a feminization as opposed to so-called high fashion. I remember hearing the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan tell a story about um, him being with the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. This was in the early 70s. And in the early 70s, of course, uh, they was moving out of the 60s where you had a tapered, slim look to suits that men were going to wear. And they were moving towards a more tapered waist, bell bottoms, big lapels, uh, loud colors, the floral prints, the whole nine in the 70s. Really uh, a lot of gear that looked real effeminate. And so the minister said that he got a new suit, one of these new 70s style suits, and he was with the messenger. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad looked at him and saw what he was wearing. He said he had a real loud tie with the handkerchief and the big lapels, bell bottom pants on the suit, the whole nine, looking, looking super fly, as they would say in the 70s. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad looked at him and told him, brother, When the devil looks at you and he sees you with me, he'll say that Muhammad got his body, but I got his mind. <laughs> Very powerful lesson. <laughs> the messenger looked at the minister in this suit and said that the devil would say, Muhammad got his body, but I got his mind. And it's interesting because as we teach our children, as we teach those who come up amongst us, our grandchildren and whatnot, uh, just the importance of, of how we dress. How we dress is a reflection of how it is that we think. And from, the, that, from that day forward, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said that whenever he chose uh, a suit or anything to wear, he would always have that which the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to him in his mind. Because we want to reflect in our dress what our mindset is. I'm not wearing a purse. I'm not wearing no loud colors. In fact, I got on this real super duper 
fly supreme style t-shirts that you can get at my website astar2.com shop with us shop with your brother but we always try to put our best foot forward whenever it is that we get dressed whenever it is that we go out because we want the people to see outwardly what is reflective inwardly and so I say that about the effeminization of the black man. I say that to our sisters about whatever it is that you're going to wear, sisters, because whatever you wear is also a reflection of your mind. So if you got everything hanging out, you got your breasts hanging out, you got your behind hanging out, then what's really on your mind? You got all of, this, all of this meat hanging out, yet you uh, don't understand why you attracting such dogs or animalistic men. And now in this hour, women. So that was what I was thinking about, fam. I just had to drop that on you. Don't, uh, brothers, let, 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 hey man, let's keep it masculine. It's all right to be a man. I know there's a there's a, a war on uh, masculinity. In fact, when you're too so-called masculine, they call it toxic masculinity. I don't know what the helicopter that is, but we should dress like men. We should walk like men. We should talk like men because we are men, and it's okay to be a man just like it's okay to be a woman if you are transgender or whatever or you know you a neutrogender or whatever you know that's your business all power to you but don't uh, try and stop me from being who it is that I am and brothers and sisters the fashion designers of this world are as wicked as they come and just know that that wickedness is you're going to see in the fashions that come out. So uh, that's all I got, brothers and sisters. I love y'all. Remember, stay black, stay strong. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Herman Muhammad. Like, share, subscribe. Go to our uh, website, astar2.com again, and get you a Supreme Style t-shirt support black business. Peace, we out.